Hey guys, how you doing? This is Donnie. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Got my BLS, the green BLS shirt. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, just want to show you real quick a couple things. If you're just getting a brand new guitar, just or if you're thinking about getting one, just a quick little introduction about your guitar. Um, this one's a Dean. It's a Razorback. Uh, body's a little crazy, um, but it doesn't really matter what what body style you have on your guitar. They're pretty much all the all standard and all the same. If you get one like this, this is this is more of the standard body. Um, it's what they call the Strat style guitar, but uh, pretty basic. It's, it's all the same stuff. And uh, what I mean is, um, go over a few things here. This is the body of your guitar. Your whole, this is the whole called the body of the guitar. Um, this one consists of a few things. Um, you got your pickups right here. This is the bridge pickup. This is the neck pickup. Um, it's got a fixed bridge, which means it's got no whammy bar. I'll get to that in a second. Um, it's got a few knobs here. It's got three of them. Uh, you got a volume knob for this pickup. You got a volume knob for this pickup. And then you got a tone knob. So you can get a little bit more trouble, a little bit more bass, whatever you desire when you're playing. All right, and uh, this one's got a three-way toggle switch. Um, you got the bridge, both the neck and the bridge. Then you got the neck pickup. Three-way toggle switch does everything depending on what sign you're looking for as well. This right here, this whole long thing right here, this is the neck of the guitar. This is the front, and you got the back, of course. This one's a maple, maple neck, rosewood fretboard. That don't really matter. Um, this one has 22 frets. And what I mean by frets is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go all the way down the line. It's got 22. Some electric guitars have 24. This is a nut of your guitar. This is where the strings come up before going into the tuning pegs to help keep it in tune. It's called the nut of the guitar. It's kind of hard to see. This one's black on this guitar. These are your tuning pegs. This one's a six string guitar, so you have six of them. You got three for the top, and you got three for the bottom. This is the headstock. This whole thing, it's hard to get in here. This whole thing right here is your headstock. It's, and it holds your tuning pegs, your strings. Um, as for strings, it's got six. Start from the top, it's E, A, D, G, B, E. Those are the six strings, and that's going to be your tuning, too. So when you're tuning a guitar, E, A, D, G, B, E, you'll get that. Uh, get a good tuner, so it'll help you stay in tune and be a lot of fun. Um, this is your input for your amp right here. So just plug into your amp, and you're ready to rock. Um, that's pretty much about it for this guitar. Um, I, w I do recommend if you're getting a guitar for the first time, don't get one with a whammy bar. This one does not have a whammy bar. I was mentioning earlier, it does not have a whammy bar. I don't, I don't mind playing guitars with whammy bars, but I choose, I choose guitars without them for the simple reason I'm not a guitar tech, and once you do that dive bomb. The dime bag Daryl is pretty famous for. Um, your guitar is going to go out of tune, and if you're just starting out, it's frustrating as hell if you pick up your guitar, do one dive bomb, and you spend all day tuning the thing. So, I recommend if you're just getting a guitar, get one without a whammy bar for the simple fact that it'll stay in tune longer, less frustration equals more fun. And that's what you want to do is just have fun. So. Um, that's pretty much it as far as this guitar anyways. Um, hopefully this little introduction help you get going, learn a little bit about what you've got in your hands. If you don't have anything in your hands, you know, maybe go down and get one. Uh, they're pretty cheap. I don't recommend getting the cheapest guitar also, um, just because um, if you get a good guitar, you're going to notice the difference right away. A good guitar is going to last a lot longer. It's a better, better investment. It will stay in tune longer as well, in most cases. Um, so don't get, a, don't get a $99 guitar. Save a little bit of money and get yourself a good one. 
can get rocking and rolling. Um, I hope this helps. A little intro guitar introduction. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, send me comments, whatever you guys want to do. I'll help you out the best I can. All right, hope this helps. This is Donnie. Peace out. Rock and roll. Urgh.